Good evening, I'm Paul Martino. Thanks for joining us late tonight. We have team coverage of today's events to mark uh, one year since the Tree of Life massacre. We begin with Pam Serrano. She was at today's public memorial at Soldiers and Sailors Museum. Good evening to you, Pam. Good evening to you, Paul. And I also stood here one year ago in Squirrel Hill, surrounded by a community that was overwhelmed by its pain. And although the pain is still here in this sacred house of worship and in this community, today was an example of a community that's also been overwhelmed by love. God is with us in sorrow. A beautiful service a year to the day following the deadliest attack on Jews in U.S. history. Proof Pittsburgh's mantle stronger than hate is as true now as it was then. By this time in, in, in uh, the way the world is now, we should be able to bond together. I know it's a sad day for the community and it feels better to be with everybody together. Every nationality, age, creed, religion and race flowed into historic Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall to honor the victims. If you're here, you have a different impact over social media. Be with other people who might be sharing grief and also togetherness. The energy that we felt in the room was love and unity. The community commemoration began with prayer. A prayer for emotionally and spiritually wounded souls. Aptly named Remember Repair Together included a touching personal video tribute to the 11 lives lost in the anti-Jewish killing at the Tree of Life Synagogue. Rabbi Jeffrey Myers, who survived the attack that fateful day, says the road to healing has been met with daily grief and overwhelming support. The love that continues to pour in from across the world reassures me that the vast majority of humanity unquestionably rejects the actions of this perpetrator. Despite the overwhelming support of community and the world, a heightened revamped security at places of worship, the grief is still in repair for some. I get triggered. I, I get really sad during the service. I don't feel afraid. I get really sad and then I can't really get my stuff together till like Tuesday. And what began with remembrance and prayer ended with a rousing call to action. I would like the government to this year, federal and state government, to finally take action on gun control. Rabbi Perlman also said that that H word is being replaced by another word here in Squirrel Hill, and that is hope. And plans are still a work in progress to make this sacred space a place of community prayer once again. Live at Tree of Life tonight, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.